mukbang. I'm embarrassed. Hey guys, it's me, Serena Lee, and today I thought that I would do a little cooking vlog and just um, take you guys with me while I cook dinner because today I'm doing like an interesting recipe. I've been obsessed with watching Juyang these days. She's this Korean mukbanger who eats a lot of food, but she went to like her high school memory tteokbokki place, I think. Um, and they had this thing called pizza tteokbokki. And after that, I've been literally watching so many videos on pizza tteokbokki, so I decided to make that. And I'm also making karage chicken. So I'm super excited. Let's get started. So it's been sitting for around 45 minutes. You're supposed to let it sit for honestly like several hours, but I started cooking late, so we're gonna have to deal with this. So I'm gonna dump out all the milk right now, and then I'm gonna put in the sauce. I've never made this before, but I'm assuming it's just tteokbokki sauce and marinara sauce, so that's just how I'm gonna do it. So I'm just gonna start with some hot water. And I'm also going to add a little bit of this seasoning that my grandma made. Okay, now that it's boiling, I'm going to add one scoop of my grandma's gochujang, which is like red pepper paste. And then I'm going to put, I'm just, I'm just using this tomato sauce. I'm just going to add, I think, like all of it. Ooh. I wonder what it's going to taste like. I don't know, man. And then for the meat, I'm going to add some sausages. My secret ingredient to making everything taste good is ketchup so I'm just gonna put a little just so it becomes a little sweeter because it's more on the salty side right now mmm mmm interesting very good mmm mm, so good so I'm also going to be adding some corn um, and then after, I'm gonna be using this skinny tok and cheese tok. I've been obsessed with the skinny tok. It's so yummy. No, 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 no! Okay, so now Bruh. I'm going to put the um, marinated chicken onto... Um... Wait a minute. Do I pat these dry first? Or do I just put them straight on to the corn starch? Oh my goodness. I did not see that. Look what I did. Oh my gosh. Why did you get all? Oh my. I know, right? Okay. Welp. So I'm going to dip them in the cornstarch and then fry them. Perfect. So they should look like this. So once the oil has um, is hot enough, I'm going. I'm now. Ah. Have you ever had a dream that that you um you had you 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 could you? The oil is now hot enough, so I'm going to put in the chicken. Maybe it's not hot enough. <laughs> oh wait, I think it is. Kitty. So I'm going to put this cheese stuff and I'm also going to put the skinny stuff. Okay, last step for the pizza tofuki is to put cheese on top and serve. So let me stir it a little. 
Ooh, that looks so good. Okay. Ooh, so much cheese. I'm just gonna close the lid so the cheese melts and we're ready to serve. It's done. It's done. Boy, if you don't get <laughs> Stop, okay. Forget about him. Oh, you should the <laughs> How is it? This one in pizza, pizza flavor. Pizza Whoa. flavor? Yeah. You like oh, that? yeah. I love this cheese over cheese, like... Mm. Wow. Mm. Wow. <laughs> Mom and Dad are really enjoying themselves. <laughs> oh, my regret is the worst one. Mm. Yeah, this is a better one. Chicken with the um, cheese is really good. Wrap it. <laughs> oh, we like finished everything. Yeah, wow. Well. I hope you guys liked that interesting recipe. Um, please share on your Instagram if you do end up making the pizza tteokbokki. And please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.